Imagine traveling from Los Angeles to San Francisco in just 30 minutes. Sounds incredible, right? But which technology will make this possible? Welcome to a world where travel is redefined, a world where we're on the brink of a revolution, set to transform the way we connect, commute, and communicate. Today we're talking about two technologies that are turning the realm of science fiction into reality, the Hyperloop and Maglev trains. With the urgency for sustainable and efficient modes of transportation growing every day, these technologies hold the promise to not just change the way we travel, but to change the world. As we grapple with the realities of climate change and urban congestion, the relevance of these technologies cannot be overstated. So buckle up, folks. As we delve into the future of travel, we'll be looking at two promising technologies, Hyperloop and Maglev trains. Let's start with the Hyperloop a concept that sounds like it's straight out of a science fiction novel. In essence, the Hyperloop is a new mode of transportation that seeks to revolutionize how we travel. But what exactly is it? Picture this, you're in a pod or capsule, comfortably seated, and this capsule is enclosed within a large tube. The air inside this tube is sucked out, creating a near vacuum condition. With very little air resistance, the capsule can move at incredibly high speeds, much like an airplane cruising in the stratosphere. That's the Hyperloop for you a passenger or freight transportation system that's designed to be super fast, efficient, and sustainable. The technology behind the Hyperloop is as fascinating as the concept itself. The capsules or pods are propelled using a combination of magnetic levitation and electric propulsion. Magnetic levitation, or maglev for short, eliminates friction between the capsule and the tube, allowing the capsule to glide smoothly at high speeds. On the other hand, Electric propulsion uses electricity to generate a magnetic field that propels the capsule forward. Now, let's talk about potential benefits. The most obvious one is speed. With the theoretical ability to reach speeds of up to 700 miles per hour, Hyperloop could turn a six-hour car journey into a 30-minute ride. That's faster than a commercial jet, and astonishingly, it's all happening on the ground. Efficiency is another major selling point. The system is designed to be powered by renewable energy, with solar panels on the top of the tube providing much of the required power. This makes it a potentially green alternative to other modes of transport. Furthermore, the Hyperloop promises a seamless travel experience. With capsules departing frequently, there's no need for a fixed schedule. You can just show up and hop on the next capsule. So that's the Hyperloop, a capsule zooming through a vacuum tube at near supersonic speeds. Now, isn't that a fascinating glimpse into what the future of travel could look like? Now let's shift gears and talk about maglev trains, the transportation technology that levitates above the tracks. Maglev is short for magnetic levitation, which is the very principle that these trains operate on. Imagine a train that doesn't touch the tracks, instead, it levitates above them, sliding through the air. That's the magic of maglev. The technology behind maglev trains is quite fascinating, it's a system of transportation that uses two sets of magnets, one set to repel and push the train up off the track, what's more, one more set to push the raised train forward, exploiting the absence of grading. This is why they're known as maglev trains, because they levitate magnetically. One of the main benefits of maglev trains is their speed. These trains can reach astounding velocities due to the absence of direct contact with rail tracks. There is no friction to slow them down, which means they can hit top speeds that other trains can only dream of. We're talking about speeds of up to 371 miles per hour, which has been achieved by a Japanese maglev train. That's faster than most commercial airplanes. Reduced friction is another key advantage that makes maglev trains incredibly efficient. Without the drag caused by contact with rails, these trains use less energy to maintain their high speeds. This not only makes them faster but also more energy efficient than traditional trains. Perhaps the most compelling part of the maglev story is that, unlike some future technologies, it's not just a concept or a prototype. Maglev trains are already in operation. In fact, the Shanghai Maglev train has been transporting passengers at top speeds of 268 miles per hour since 2004. Maglev trains then offer a frictionless, efficient, and already operational travel option. They're not just a glimpse into the future of transportation, they're a part of the present, levitating us towards a more efficient and speedy future. Now that we understand both technologies, it's time for a head-to-head -head comparison. When it comes to speed, the Hyperloop, with a proposed top speed of over 700 miles per hour, 
leaves maglev trains which currently peak at about 370 miles per hour in the dust this sheer velocity could enable unprecedented connectivity shrinking the distance between cities and revolutionizing long distance travel however speed isn't everything let's talk about costs building a hyperloop system could cost up to a hundred million dollars per mile significantly more than a maglev system which ranges from 10 to 40 million dollars per mile Furthermore, the maintenance of the Hyperloop's vacuum tubes presents an ongoing expense and technical challenge. Whereas maglev trains already in operation in several countries have proven their durability and cost effectiveness over time. Now let's consider sustainability. Both technologies offer greener alternatives to traditional rail and air travel. The Hyperloop powered by solar panels could potentially generate more power than it uses, making it an energy positive system. On the other hand, maglev trains, while requiring electricity, reduce energy consumption and emissions by eliminating ground friction. As for where each technology stands today, maglev trains are already ferrying passengers in countries like Japan and China. They've proven themselves as a reliable and efficient mode of transport. The Hyperloop, meanwhile, is still in the experimental stage. While several prototypes have been tested successfully, we're still a few years away from seeing a fully operational Hyperloop system. In summary, the Hyperloop promises unrivaled speed and energy positivity, but its high costs and developmental stage make it a gamble. Maglev trains, while slower, are a more proven and cost-effective solution, already easing commutes in some parts of the world. As we can see, both technologies have their strengths and weaknesses, and the race is still on. While it's exciting to imagine the future of travel, it's also important to consider the challenges and opportunities. For Hyperloop, the challenges are vast, Creating a near-vacuum tube stretching hundreds of miles is no easy feat. However, its potential to revolutionize travel with speeds up to 700 miles per hour is undeniably tantalizing. On the other hand, maglev trains have a proven track record, achieving speeds of over 370 miles per hour in real-world conditions. However, the high costs of infrastructure and energy consumption pose significant hurdles, both technologies have the potential to transform how we travel, offering high-speed efficient transportation, but they also face considerable obstacles, from technical and logistical challenges to financial and environmental concerns. As these technologies continue to evolve, they will need to address these issues to truly revolutionize travel. The journey towards the future of travel is filled with exciting possibilities and monumental challenges. As we wrap up, let's quickly summarize our key points. We've explored the fascinating world of Hyperloop and maglev trains, delved into their impressive designs and technologies, and weighed their potential benefits. We've compared their maximum speeds, costs, and sustainability, and speculated on their future. These technologies are revolutionizing travel as we know it, and they're not stopping anytime soon. Which technology do you think will dominate the future of transportation? Share your thoughts in the comments below. Until next time, Keep imagining the future.